Hey there, welcome back to another 10 minute jobs. Today we're doing another fluid change. This time we're going to do the rear differential on my 15 Silverado. This applies to 2014 through 2019 trucks. So it should be quick and easy. Should be able to do it in 10 minutes. Fingers crossed. Alright, here we are underneath the rear of the truck. So it's our rear differential, differential cover. So we're going to take this off. First thing you want to do is make sure that your fill plug isn't... Well, make sure that it will come off. Certainly is on there. I'm not the best spot. There it is. There's the knuckles. Alright. Make sure that comes out. Yep, there we go. So we'll put it back in. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our 10 millimeter. Yep. Loosen all these up. What I'm gonna do is leave these top ones just snug but in. Take the rest out. That way we can lean this out a bit and drain it into our pan without the whole thing falling. see our gasket it's right here this is reusable you want to check it though of course make sure it's not cracked there's nothing wrong with it and then we will go and clean both our pan down here and clean that all out this is a magnetic fill plug right there so we gotta wipe all that off we will clean the entire area around the edge clean that all up real nice and neat Spray it down, put it back together, and fill it back up. Alright, so I got it mostly cleaned up. One other thing I'm going to try to do here. See down right there? There's another magnet. I'm going to try to pry that out and get it real nice and cleaned up because you can see, hopefully, it's a bunch of metal shavings on there. So we want to try to get that out, clean it up. You can get all the metal shavings out you can. But that's the whole point of that magnet is to collect them so they're not up in your gears. Because that's definitely bad. So we'll try to get that out. Alright, so that magnet would not come out. It looks like it's kind of glued in there. Got some RTV, some sort of sealant. You can kind of see on the inside edge there. So I just wiped it down a whole bunch, bunch of different rags, sprayed it down with brake clean a whole bunch of times, just try to clean it as best I could. So that's where it is. It is what it is. I don't want to try to pry it out and wind up breaking something or doing some sort of damage. So at this point, we've got the whole outside cleaned up, sprayed it down a bunch, wiped it down, fresh rags. So we'll put it back together because I have also already cleaned up my cover. As you can see that looks quite a bit better. And I've also cleaned up the fill plug. The gasket, I just cleaned it up. I'm going to reuse it. It is reusable. I'd rather use that than sealant. Sealant creates a big mess. So here we are. So we'll put it back together. <laughs> torque these down and according to the book you do 15 foot pounds we'll do star pattern and then that's step one it says step two an additional 20 degrees 
All right, so my battery died, but um, I don't know where I cut off. What I was saying is we do 15 degrees star pattern. I'm sorry, 15 foot pounds star pattern. And then step two is an additional 20 degrees. So again, I don't have one of those fancy deals that measures your degrees. So I'm just gonna guess. It's not gonna be a whole lot. So that's what we're gonna do now. Start here. Okay, that's it. Now just wipe things up. Down a bit. And now we'll fill it up. Okay, so we're going to start filling it up. So what you're supposed to fill it to on this size rear axle is a nine and a half inch is a range so it's not to the top here it's actually below by five eighths up to an inch and a nine sixteenths so we're going to try to get it within that range so i'll just kind of keep checking it with my finger like that until kind of my whole pinky there curled around the edge I'll just say that's roughly five eighths to a nine sixteenths. So when, if you're in that range, you're good to go. Okay, so like you saw there, I just kept filling it and it's supposed to be 2.75 quarts until, so it's not draining out, there's nothing there. I gotta curl down just to there. And so that I'm gonna call roughly um, between 5 eighths and an inch and a 9 sixteenths below this bottom level here. So that's where we're supposed to be. It's hard to actually get any sort of sight here I suppose I could take the spare tire off and get a better view but I'm gonna call that good so what I'm gonna do is recheck it here I've got uh, 200 miles I'm driving tomorrow working back and then um, I'll recheck it as we're going all the way to the East Coast tomorrow so I'll double check it then so at this point we're good throw on make sure it's nice and clean Install this guy. Just gonna go a little bit and go check the torque and we'll torque it down. Alright, I checked it. it's 24 foot pounds. Get some of this junk out of the way. There it is. That's it, job done. Another 10 minute job down. Nice and easy. Anybody can do it. All right, so my last clip, I think I left it on the time warp thing. Again, just learning this GoPro stuff. Um, but that's it, so I torqued down the cover drain plug to 24 foot pounds. Um, wiped everything down now. I am just cleaning up my gigantic mess. So that's it. That's another 10 minute job done. That's um, rear differential fluid change on a 2015 Silverado four wheel drive. Um, anywhere from 2014 to 19, exact same process and probably other models. Um, thank you for watching another 10 minute job. I'm gonna try to come up with a bunch more. Got my son's truck out there. We're gonna do similar fluid changes on that. It's a couple generations back. 
So that may help some people out as well. Let me know in the comments. Thanks again. See you guys later.